Hello everyone, welcome to SNA741 demo series. In this video, we will learn about how to install the NVM client on Windows machine. I am Pradnya Padki, TME for Secure Analytics team. We install AnyConnect NVM standalone client on Windows endpoints with all the necessary configurations. Once it is installed, the client start collecting the user activities on the endpoints. This information is called NVZ flow that's been exported to the flow collectors. To install client on the Windows machine, we need two files. One is network visibility module collector. This is the actual service that initiates the NVZ flow logs to the flow collector. Second is the profile editor. This simply helps to create the profile which is in XML format that has the telemetry types and the flow collector information where this NVZ flow logs to be exported. This XML file should be named as nvm underscore service profile dot XML and should be saved under the mentioned path. Let's quickly switch to demo to see the actual deployment. So this is the Windows machine on which we will be installing the standalone NVM client. Uh, as you can see here, I have already uh, downloaded these two files. One is the uh, profile editor and second one is the NVM collector from software.cisco.com. Let me install this NVM collector first. This needs the administrative privileges. So verify if the service is running on the task manager. So we can see here in the services, the Cisco AnyConnect NVM is running. Next, we'll install the profile editor. Um, make sure the JRE is updated. So now we see the profile editor is being installed and we see here this is a standalone NVM. Click on this and run it as an administrator. And this is how we fill in the data. So we give the flow collector IPs or the CTB telemetry uh, interface IP address over here so that the, the NVZ flow will be forwarded or exported to this particular IP address. We give the port number, uh, the NVM talks or communicate on 2030 port number. Uncheck the secure, uh, secure uh, option and leave everything by default. Make sure the broadcast and multicast is selected. For the data collection policy, just click on add, give a name for it, uh, make sure this all three are selected, uh, op select the include option with all the, uh, all the telemetry options and then save it. Next, uh, make sure you have a uh, server uh, which is not behind any proxy uh, so that we can just get the hash value of that particular server and then just save it. Once this all configuration is done, we need to save this under a particular path. And name that as nvm underscore service profile. Make sure the naming convention remains the same. So the NVM configuration on this particular machine is complete. So let's verify whether the uh, uh, NVZ flow log is been exported to the flow collectors. So this is the uh, Wireshark on the uh, IP address that is assigned to this particular uh, uh, machine that is endpoint. And we just type C flow. And when we type CFlow or UDP uh, port, then we, we see the source IP address of the uh, Windows and the destination IP of the flow collector. And we see that it's been success. Now, suppose if you're browsing anything on Google Chrome or something that been, that will be exported to the flow collectors. And we can see those logs in the uh, SMC that is Secure Network Analytics Manager through Report Builder app. So what are you waiting for? If you are already using SNA, I encourage you to upgrade to 741 and try out the data store architecture. If you are a new customer, so start your free trial today. Thank you for watching the video.